storm is intensifying on the shoreline, high winds, flooding, power outages. It's all possible tonight. Everything is on the menu. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash is live in Niantic with how things are looking right now. And it looks like the rain and wind there, Luke, picking up quite a bit. Yeah, just in the last few minutes, really, Aaron and Mark, the wind, the rain, both a lot heavier than we have seen at any point today. Let's show you Niantic Bay. It is pretty choppy, white capping pretty good there when the water comes in towards the shore and high tide is just about a couple hours away. Early in the day, just looking at Niantic Bay, you could tell a storm was coming. The winds are supposed to be really high, though. That's... A worry. If you know that you're prone to any type of flooding in your yard or basement, you know, make sure you're taking precautions for that. In southeast Connecticut especially, high winds, heavy rain, it could all cause problems. Flooding, power outages, it's all on the table. Our shoreline area, especially uh, tomorrow morning about 8 o'clock, is going to be uh, a large high tide, um, so there will be moderate flooding. It's pretty windy. Kathy McGuire experienced high tide in a storm just like this a few weeks back. I went out, didn't get very far, but the water came right up. Thought I was going to get pulled in. Further north, folks were stocking up on supplies like tarps and tie downs at Surplus Unlimited in Norwich. A busy morning there. And utility crews are getting some rest before what could be a very busy next few days. We've had a ton of rain lately so that the ground is saturated if it's not frozen, and that's going to impact trees or tree limbs. Could bring them down onto uh, our lines, maybe even impact poles. Norwich Public Utilities hasn't called in any extra crews, but says if things are under control in town, they'll head out to help others. And free help was the name of the game in Old Lyme today, where the town offered free sand for folks to bag up to help weigh things down overnight. After tonight's high tide, the next one is about 8.30 tomorrow morning. Good news, it's the same time the storm should be rolling out. Live in Niantic, Luke Kydash, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. All right.